Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we have top 5 free SketchUp extensions which might help you increase your workflow. Download link for each extension is in the description below. So let's get started. To start with, the first one in the list is Selection Toys. Now the extension provides you a wide range of selection, modifiers, filter outs, all edges and faces etc. For an example, if you need to select the border of this particular object, we can simply select the whole object, right click on it, go to select only and then click on border edges. And there you get the clean selection of the borders only. Not only this, you get this green and red panel in this extension where the green means to select and red means to deselect. Example, if you need to select the faces of the object then we can select the whole object and click on this faces option in green panel by which we can only have the selection of the faces of the particular object. Coming towards another example in which we select the whole object and click on deselecting edges. Then we are only left with the selected faces of the particular object. After then, if you delete the faces by clicking delete on the keyboard and we are only left with edges. So that's a cool way to select and deselect the edges and faces of a particular object. Coming toward the second extension in the list, which is selection memory. Now there are a couple of times when you are working and even selecting different edges or making several selections and by mistake you end up having a wrong selection and you regret doing it and thinking how to start it again. So the extension is helpful for instant accidental deselects. You simply need to click on edit go to cycle previous selection and it will automatically select the previous selection you made. To make the workflow even easier, I've given a shortcut which is D for the command. So you can simply click on D or the shortcut key on your keyboard every time you make a wrong selection. Moving toward the third extension which is join push pull tool. Now there are a couple of times when you need to extrude different surfaces at a single time which is now possible with join push pull tool. You can simply select the surfaces you need to extrude and then select the joint push pull tool and click on control on your keyboard and extrude the selected surfaces and there you go. Coming up next in the list is edge tool. This one is personally very useful for me. This extension helps you find the open loops or edges in the drawing when imported from CAD which is one of the reason why SketchUp fails to make faces of these drawings. To find the edges you simply need to select the drawing then click on inspect and close edge gap. As you can see, we have a lot of them in this drawing. Now there are two ways to close these edges. First one by manually double clicking on the circles which will connect to the nearest line. Or you can use the close edge gap in which you need to insert the tolerance level which in our case will be 150 mm. And click on OK. Let the extension do its work and there you go. It will close all the edges which can be treated in 150 mm radius. Now this extension work according to the drawing. Last but not the least, we have material replacer in our list. Now some of you will say that SketchUp has its own inbuilt select similar feature which will automatically replace the materials but it fails to do so when some of the objects are in different groups or components. Here comes the use of material replacer. For this you can click on tools then select material replacer an eyedropper will appear on your cursor. Firstly, you need to select the material you need to change. Then select the material you need to apply. Now you can see the benefits of this extension. It will automatically replace the material no matter if it's on a different component or a group or a different surface. It will replace the material wherever it's present in the material space. That's all for today. Let us know if you want to see full tutorials for each extension. Like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel.